Hey everybody, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com and it's sort of like a coffee shop except for there's no coffee? You can still buy stuff, but it's just art. And it doesn't smell of coffee. Okay, it might smell a little bit of coffee, but um, only if you buy the originals. So it's not really like a coffee shop. It's more like a website that sells art. ColinMullen.com Hey everybody, so like I do always, I'm going to talk a little bit about this painting and then we can get into the meat and potatoes of this subject matter of why you're actually here. But, you know, I like talking about myself, so uh, excuse me for a minute. Um, so I've been having some weird dreams recently and I decided, you know what, let's paint that because um, that's fun. You know, I like um, I like painting stuff that's a little bit out there and a little bit different. And this just um, this spoke to me and the color palette's a little bit different. And so I figured, yeah, let's give that a shot. You know what I mean? So that's what this is. Um, I'm using the golden paint a lot more in this. There is some Liquitex. Uh, all of the products should be down in the description with uh, Amazon affiliate links if you want them. Um, but the golden paint is really good, dude. Really good. So anyway, um, y you'll see me use a little bit of it. And I think you'll notice the difference in the greens there uh, versus the normal kind of muddy green that I get, which is fine, but not really what I was going for. Uh, really vibrant stuff. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. But anyway, let me talk about why you're actually here. So I'm not exactly sure why I'm going to call this video, but generally speaking, it's going to be how to improve your presence online or how to get people to look at your art online. Um, and um, I I'm going to explicitly say online because I don't really know how to do this in meat space. I don't know if that's a term that people still use or not. Um, but as an artist who is very, very, very introverted, uh, going outside, meeting people, and doing the stuff that I think you probably have to in order to become like successful in the meat space in offline work um, does not come naturally to me. So I don't really have a good solution for that yet, and I'm working on it, and as soon as I do have a good solution for it, I will have a video that's sort of a follow-up to this one. But I do know how to market myself online, and I do have several tips, including one major, major, major one that I'm going to wait until the end to give you because that's how you do YouTube videos. Um, but anyway, let's start off with why. Like, why are you even trying to get people to look at your art? Now, it seems like that's obvious, but understand that some people want to just have their art seen by people. Some people want to be a uh, person who does commissions. Other people want to do art for the sake of uh, gaining friends or just uh, knowing other artists. That way they can improve their skill. Maybe you have some sort of uh, combination of all of these things or something along those lines. That's valid. So take everything I say with a grain of salt and apply it to what you're trying to do with yourself. Because depending on what you're trying to do with yourself and the reason that you want to have uh, people looking at your art depends on what of this you need to implement in what way for you. So um, never never take my advice whole uh, sauce. Take, take some of it and run with it with your own personal taste. I think that's one of the best ways to take any advice. But once you've decided why you want actually getting attention online, let's figure out how we can actually gain it. Um, so there's there's a couple of different ways, but I think one of the best ways to get attention when it comes to creative media is the old adage of do something better or do something uh, different. Those are your two options on how to do or how to be noticed as a successful creative person. And that means that, you know, you don't have to be better than people if you've got enough of an original weird idea that it works, you know? Um, that's kind of where I feel like this channel is in a lot of ways. Um, there's a lot of channels that do, you know, art tutorials. There's a lot of channels that talk over art and painting and that kind of thing. It's a whole subgenre of YouTube. That's why perhaps you're here. Um, but a lot of my paintings happen to be stuff that... Um, are from video games but are not of characters you rarely see portraits or uh, landscapes from video games and that's kind of my unique little shtick and it's it's different and so it does bring people in um and that helps but um you know being good is is helpful as well but i, I think there are better artists than me that have less attention than me and i think that's that's something that needs to be kind of um stated is that again different it, you know is as valid as better you know in some cases but let's let's say like you figured out how you're gonna do your art and you've done that you've done either something different or better than other people 
but you're still not getting attention. Like, what what's happening there? Let me put it to you, like, uh, bluntly. Um, where are you posting it? And how are you posting it? And what are you posting? Um, where you're posting it, like, I hate Facebook. I think it's a stupid website. I know that seems tangential, but, like, uh, I think it's a dumb website. I don't think it makes any sense. I think it's, um, useless and it just kind of makes people feel bad. But I still post every single video that I make, uh, on my highlight channel on, on Facebook, on the Vine Sauce, um, Facebook page because I realize that what is your favorite media what is your favorite social media may not be everyone's favorite social media you know and so you need to really just advertise yourself in every single place that makes sense so whenever I post a video for the highlight channel it goes up on uh you know Twitter it goes I talk about it on my streams I talk about it here I talk about it on Tumblr I talk about it on Twitter I talk about it on Facebook um, sometimes I even do Instagram and I should probably do more of it. Um, everyone has their own favorite social media. And so whatever their favorite is, is the one they're going to be checking. They're probably ignoring all the other ones. You don't want to lose, um, clicks, views, that kind of thing. Just because you stubbornly don't like a thing. It doesn't matter if you don't like it. It doesn't matter if I don't like Facebook. People look at videos and things on Facebook and I want people to look at the things that I make because, you know, it's it's nice to, you know, have all that hard work pay off. So, um, don't, don't get snooty about what social media you're posting on, you know? Do all of the things. And, and I say that as someone who regularly does not post on Instagram even though I should. I don't care what your favorite is, you still need to do it. Um, so you've done that. You've posted your art on, you know, the thing, and your art is good, but yet you still have, like, one or two notes, and they're, like, your mom and your best friend. And it's like, okay, but seriously, what am I doing wrong, you know? I think um, it really comes down to, like, how would people find you? Um, and why would they choose to find you? Um, your art may be amazing. But, you know, I've talked about it. I've talked about um, Ringo Starr's Your Baby. Go ahead and go to his website. Look up Ringo Starr, Your Baby. Uh, Y-E-R, baby. Uh, I, I think it's supposed to be Year Baby. I don't know. But anyway, it's awful. And legitimately, people will probably buy it at the price that he has set for it. And the reason is that people already know him for something else and are willing to follow him through to other things. Is it an absurd price for his skill level? Yes, he's really bad, but he has a lot of eyes on him because of other things that he's done. So how do you implement that? How do you get that without having to, you know, slowly build up a career in something else, become the first boy band ever, and then use that to your benefit to sell really crappy MS Paint art? Um, a quicker way, a better way, and a way that I've seen that has been very effective for people that I know and uh, friends of mine is do something like fan arty of something that you care about that you actually like and then tag it appropriately. Don't do something that you think is popular just so that way you can get those views. People can smell that. They can smell you being fake and they can smell that you are doing it just for the clicks and they will hate you for it. And that will not translate into clicks and views and you're gonna notice that there's gonna be a huge difference between the amount of views you get for let's say a drawing of mario versus a drawing of your oc character or your own stuff the stuff that you like to do and the reason for that is that i mean quite frankly like, like quite frankly like people are there to look at that but after they get a reputation or once you get that reputation that you make good art people are gonna be like oh cool i'm gonna look at this guy's other stuff um, and not very many people are going to do that, to be honest with you. But it's going to be some. So intermix all the art that you're already doing, all the work you're already doing, with some stuff that will bring people in. Because the chances of someone searching the art tag on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, what have you, is pretty low. And it's highly competitive. Um, someone searching the, uh, tag for Mario, or, um, you know... Homestuck, Fire Emblem, something, some game or some IP that they care about. Um, 
is pretty high because people have those hobbies. And if you like those things, if you like any of those things or something else similar, go and make a go make some content for it and you'll notice that other people who like it will come by and see it because they probably are following that tag. And those are viewers that you can have. And then you follow that up by having other art on your page and you intermix it fairly regularly. There will be a difference, but it's additional people that are checking out your art and you have that reputation of being a good artist. So they're willing to, in some cases, go and check out the rest of your stuff. And that's really the thing. It's the hook that gets them there. It's your uh, world's first boy band sort of thing. So you can make your, your baby original art sort of things. You know, the idea is that you need to get people there first. I think a lot of people who watch this channel and consume my art and consume my stuff know me because of my video game streams over this, over my art. And in fact, it's only about this year that people are really noticing me as an artist as well as a video game streamer. And it's because I had that other attention that people slowly started to gravitate to this as well once I made it. That's, that's the key. And so you don't have to build up a career as a streamer first, it isn't a bad suggestion, but you know, having having your uh, stuff tagged as stuff that other people would be searching for that's not art is gonna bring in some views. Again, you're gonna notice a difference between the numbers on your Mario art versus your original art. That being said, here's the biggest tip that I can give you when it comes to being an internet content creator. And as speaking as someone who has been an internet content creator for, I want to say almost a decade now, seven years, eight years. How long have I been doing this? I don't know. Um, whereas you can walk into a building and there's just a crowd of people, an unfathomable number of people that are just kind of milling about. Or maybe just like a handful more than you'd really care to count. With with all these things, you get explicit numbers. You know? This thing got ten notes. This one got five. You know? And then, so you start thinking to yourself, like, you put out one piece of art, it gets like a hundred notes. And you're like, dude, that's awesome. You know? My normal stuff only gets five. That's great. And then you do another one. And you get two notes. And you're like, well, better hang up the saddle because I'm just I'm done no one cares about my art anymore that is a dangerous trap to get yourself into it's okay to celebrate the highs but understand that the lows are you know not necessarily something that you should be in fact it is not something you should equate to your own self worth and your own self uh, love because you should not be treating yourself as someone who creates XYZ number of clicks numbers so on and so forth at the end of the day, you need to just be accomplishing whatever that goal is that you set out to have at the beginning of this video. If your goal is to have a billion notes, if your goal is to have more notes than you have now, that itch, that desire to have more will never end and you will never be happy. I will tell you that right now because these things are so finicky. What if Twitter changes their terms of service? What if uh, YouTube decides to change the algorithm again? If your self-worth and your self-respect for yourself is based on the numbers that you get, you're going to hate yourself and you're going to hate what you're doing. You need to be doing it for other reasons. You need to be doing it for yourself and, you know, for some other cause. If it's for money, I understand. You need those notes in order to survive. You know, you need that self, uh, you need that promotion. But as long as you're making enough of money to survive, you should not be beating yourself up about what your numbers are. You know? Uh, take care of your needs, whatever that need was that you wanted at the beginning of this. Do that. As long as you're accomplishing that, it doesn't matter how many notes you're getting. I know it seems easy for me to say that right now from the position I'm sitting in, and maybe you're only getting like zero notes or one or two notes on the stuff that you're making or uh, reblogs or likes or whatever the equivalent is for the website you're using. Um, but I'll tell you, once once five becomes the normal for you, and you drop below five on one, you're gonna hate yourself. And then when 10 becomes the normal, five won't be sufficient anymore because you used to be able to get 10s, 20s, 100 notes, so on and so forth. It doesn't really matter. Every single time that you go up in experience and more people notice you, your standard for how many notes you need to have in order to like yourself is also going to go out of control and you will never 
ever meet that bar because you always keep pushing that bar further and further away from yourself. And I speak as someone who has gone through this and just wants to warn you now that you shouldn't do that to yourself, you know? Um, work on making yourself a better artist, work on making yourself a better content creator, and then worry about that stuff. I could probably do a whole video on this, but um, that this is the long and short of how to become you know, successful on the internet as a content creator, be it music, uh, art, YouTube, streaming, whatever. The plan is the same. Bring them in with the, the thing that you know they'll like, and some of them will stay around for whatever you feel like doing. Anyway, let me wrap this up by giving a shout out to all the people who have been supporting me at the $5 or more tier on patreon.com slash revscarecrow. If you want a link to that, it's down in the description. But anyway, thank you to Micah. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Geizuzan. Thank you, Ethan Frack. Thank you, Bubba Fair. Thank you, Tilda. Um, thank you so much for being supportive. I love you. Thank you, Wapfu. Thank you, Theodore Corbier. Thank you, Plex. Thank you, Flinixia Theoran. Thank you, Lost Nevada. Thank you, James at Games. Thank you, Duxu. Thank you, Andy. And thank you, Amber. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, it means a lot that I have you guys supporting me. Um, it's been a wild ride this year as far as YouTube goes. And it's nice to see that there. So thank you guys so much. Anyway, here's me signing off and signing the painting. I hope you enjoyed this painting, if you want, or this discussion even. Uh, if you want more of this kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I'm still guilty of needing those likes and views and that kind of thing, but um, as best as I can, I'm walking away from that, that mindset that I need them. And I hope that you never get started on that. And I hope that you have success in getting to whatever your goal that you set at the beginning of this video is. Um, treat yourself right though, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.